We're back in Redmond at Pomegranate Bistro. It's a family favorite spot with top-notch comfort food inspired by Chef Lisa Dupar's Southern upbringing. It's not like any fried chicken I've ever had. It's not greasy. It's the most amazing batter and it's fantastic. Crunchy and just, it just melts in your mouth. We all take our leftovers home. You know how you go to a restaurant and you kind of forget them? Yeah. You never forget these leftovers. The restaurant shares its space with Chef Lisa's catering kitchen, a place that's very familiar with parties because it executes more than 1,500 catered events each year. Now we're off to cook one of Chef Lisa's favorite party foods. And of course there's a southern twist, chicken and waffles. So this is my favorite part. It's salty. Salty and crackers. <laughs> salty cracker. I like that idea. Coated. And I just get them in the sleeves, and we do this for <laughs> thousands of people. Do you so really? We still do that. Once our crackers are smashed, we season our chicken, dust it with flour, dump it in buttermilk with some egg, and dunk it in our crackers. I like pressing it like that. Okay. So you can do, yeah, like that. Yeah. And then just set it yeah. here. Yeah, there you go. This is kind of therapeutic, like the, the whole, whole process. Thing is of, therapeutic. You know? I know. It's kind of like, can I come bread? Yeah. Chicken ties with you in the kitchen. <laughs> mm. I just not about a thousand. Out there. You like to use uh, a lot of locally sourced food with your catering in your restaurant? As much as we possibly can, mm -hmm. yes. We use shepherd's grain uh, pastry flour awesome. in our pastry mm -hmm. shop. Mm -hmm. And Draper Valley Farms mm -hmm. chicken. For the chicken. And it's pretty cool to have yeah. all this stuff. We are really lucky in Washington State. Yeah. I mean, we have everything. I mean, we have the coast. We're really, really spoiled up here. All right, so these then. We're ready to fry. To fry. And then we only are frying to brown the saltine cracker crumbs. Okay. Because it browns so quickly that it doesn't really cook the chicken all sure. the way. You can do it on your stove at home. You don't really need a, a, a deep, deep fryer. fryer. So. Finish it off in the oven. Well, our chicken fries and then bakes, we're moving on to cook up some waffles. Just about everyone has a waffle maker like this in their kitchen someplace. I have one Probably here got it for work. their wedding. <laughs> Probably. What's your favorite party food? My favorite party food. Um, wow, that's hard. Ooh. That's like, what's your favorite child? I don't even know if I could. That's hard to pick. I think it depends on the season. So I love adding Okanagan watermelon with the tomatoes or peaches Ooh. in the caprese. Yum. So that to me screams summer does. party yeah. food. For catering, we do a little stack like this mm -hmm. with your chicken on top, and uh, we do a little red pepper jelly. There we go. You have to have finger food for parties. Oh my gosh. We right? spend so much time <laughs> thinking about what we can pass on a cracker. <laughs> so what's the number one thing for a successful party okay, in your mind? So do something you've done before. Okay. That you know how to do. This is not the time to experiment. <laughs> this is the time to do what you're famous for. Now it's time to build our own and give it a try. Mm. Oh yeah. That's so good. Right? Nice and soft and warm. Oh, mm -hmm. I love your fried chicken. Mm. That's oh, delicious. Oh, to get the recipe for Pomegranate Bistro's chicken and waffles, head to our website at wagrown.com.